Hello everyone, welcome to these Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the Valiverse Action Force Blowback Sniper Ultra Deluxe Set. Um, this carried a heftier price point than their their Deluxe set. This was at 55 compared to their 45, and uh, we'll uh, we'll dissect it and see if it's worth it. So uh, let's take a look. You get this giant box. You can see me in it. You got your uh, backdrop of the digital camo. Action Force, it's a nice green. Get some artwork on the side there. Get that shot there. Blow back in some grass. Five action points. Um, here's his file. Uh, what's a combat profile? So if you guys want to pause it, read it real quick, then go from there. Not much going on the top. Not much going on the bottom. Same artwork on the side there. So we'll put that over here. We're gonna leave it backwards just to keep my uh, my ugly mug out of it. Got a, got a face for radio. So, diving in, we get blowback. Arguably the uh, second best Valiverse figure ever released. Um, it was part of the SDS Wave One. Almost flawless figure. Uh, construction's perfect. Everything's great about him. Um, Trigger's my personal favorite. So blowback's gonna take a take a number two slot. Um, came with this rifle. Mine's always displayed with. Uh, this one, and then it's funny because I did some uh, some shots of uh, on my Instagram, and then he's holding this one that we get. So, um, based off the character's bio, he's a really good marksman, so it makes sense that he's got the super deluxe sniper set, and then that he comes with the uh, longer rifle opposed to the standard M4. Diving in, we get a typical figure. We get two sets of trigger. We get two a left and a right trigger hand. We get left and right. Gripping hands, left and right fists, and then you get your left and right C-grip or cupping hands. We get our ACH, it's like a light green and a dark green going on. It's got the ear protectors, and then we also got the Peltors headset pieces that clip in. And it looks like there's some paint on the end of this, unless I'm just seeing things. Yeah, I think I'm just seeing things. We also get just the standard headset. Come on. There we go. We get three head sculpts. We get camoed up, blowback head sculpt. We get the standard issued uh, balaclava or masked head sculpt. Then we get our, our new one eye closed. I'm aiming down the sights. Head sculpt. Weapons wise, we get this nice rifle we've been seeing since uh, Series 1. Magazine drops out of the bottom of it. And then he's got two extra mags on his on his vest. We got the FN, black slide, black optic. Green and tan. Yeah, green like olive knife. Going in the figure himself. We got that green plate carrier we've been seeing. Um, all reuse, all repaint minus the the head, head sculpt here. So, a little bit going on. He does not have the Action Force patch or any patch, and then he doesn't have his uh, his puzzle piece autism patch. So, kind of uh, interesting. But I guess people would be like, oh, but he's got the, the 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 two extra camouflage paint apps over him. I mean, I guess, but you know, you're taking away from the character. But you can, I guess, troop build him if you wanted to. Throw the balaclava head on. Go from there. So, there he is. Not too much going on there. Nothing we haven't seen before. Just camouflage pattern. He does trade out the tanker boots for these uh, laced up boots. So, always a plus. No extra color on the uh, gloves. No knuckles, no nothing. So, pretty solid camouflage. Camouflaging going on. Slide him back here. The Action Force stand is in this nice... 
green. Kind of like an olive color. Not olive drab. More olive than olive drab. Throw it over there. All right, let's get into this uh, this sniper kit. Um, not impressed. Very disappointed in it. Uh, confused as to why these choices were made. So we get this rifle. It's got some paint apps on it. Cool. But it just feels so like it feels like a dollar store cheap plastic rifle. Um, sure, the camo on it's fun. Um, but it just, it just feels horrible. This whole bipod, so you got the, uh, closed bipod. Open bipod situation. It just, it looks so cheap and like cheesy. Like it, it looks like it, this is where all the shortcuts came out of. And it's just, I don't. Kind of disappointing in it. So, um, we'll start there and keep going. You get the spotter sight, spotter scope, whatever you want to call it. Not too much going on. Pretty uh, pretty boring, minus the uh, Picatinny rail on the top. Uh, they can't really hold this. So, you got to put on the, the mount. Just pegs in the top there. The lower leg spin, and then clip up, and then you're in business. So, um, that's that. And then I guess you could raise it, lower it. Cause you, maybe not, maybe no, you can't just the way it looks. So I'm spinning, I'm just spinning this. I wasn't even spinning the thing. So that's that. It's okay, I guess. So. Then you get this dollar store weapons case. And mine's all jacked up. Mine won't shut. This thing seems like it came from a dollar store figure. Everything uh, everything fits in it. So, you got that going for you. Cool, everything fits, but it's this giant, cheap, plastic, one-colored case. So you're telling me we got this from the guy who allegedly designed this, because he doesn't shut up about it, and then Classified got this, right? But we, for Valiverse and Action Force, get this. What? We're, this is ass. Anyone that tells you this is an awesome set because of this is lying to you. This is horrible. This is cheap. This is rubbish. It doesn't make any sense. We should have gotten a bag. Not this giant pelican case. That's made of the cheapest plastic imaginable. With a lackluster weapon. Why couldn't we get the Barrett? Why couldn't we get the Barrett? Thrown into this weapon set. With a, a backpack that the, the spotter scope can fit into and not this giant freaking mount for it. it. Instead, did all the money go into this ghillie suit, which we'll talk about in a second? I'm not sure. All the money go into the paint apps? It's it's horrible. It's ass. Anyone that tells you that this is amazing is horrible. Camouflage blowback? Pretty solid. This? Horrible. So, you know, you got your... your $32 figure. And this and this are 23 bucks. I mean the Arctic one was 25. Not not worth it. It's horrible. It seems so cheap, such a step back for where we're at in the action force world. And then that. So throw that over there. Ghillie suit. Pretty much, oh, well, forgot the most important part. There's instructions for the ghillie suit. It basically says just don't manhandle it. You know, don't be a weirdo with it. Don't fat finger it. These giant sausage hands just coming and jacking up action figures left and right. Um, just tells you how to, the best way to put it on. And then it's just additional, you know, 
take care of it. Don't lose your shit. Um, don't beat the shit out of it. Stuff like that. The material itself, I do like this one better than the Arctic. I think it looks a lot better than the Arctic one. You got this material on the inside, elastic straps. And then you got like feathers on the outside. And the green looks a lot better than the white. But we'll get blowback all suited up here. It recommends taking the gear off. I'm going to leave the belt on just so I don't have to pop the figure apart. And uh, take the vest off and go from there. So we'll get them all geared up here. And for those of you curious, the camouflage pattern does continue underneath Blowback's shirt into his combat shirt. Front and back. So, not too bad. And it just slides on like so. So, relatively easy. Just legs through, arms through. Good to go. I keep getting mine all caught and bunched up. Then you just got to nitpick and adjust it how you want it. It's got the hood. The hood's alright. I could have used a little... I guess maybe like an extra like stitching in here and there, maybe. I'm sure there'll be some customizer out there. Maybe, uh, who was it, Argus for the Acid Rain figure? You had to spray him with hairspray to keep his ghillie suit from falling apart. Is that, is that what his name was? The sniper from uh, Buck's team, like what, the original ones. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. But There he is. Here's our Arctic. Um, the ghillie suits are alright. The green's definitely better. Uh, probably could have used like some extra stitching in in the head a little bit, tighten it up, added a little bit to it. Might take a crack at that. Otherwise, that's the ghillie suit. So we're gonna get him out of this goofy, goofy stuff and talk about some final thoughts here. All right. So there you have it. Your del super deluxe. Insanely priced blowback. Um, blowback's an awesome character, awesome figure. We get that again here. We just get them all camouflaged up. Looks awesome. Fun concept. Uh, very hit and run esque. Um, surprised we haven't seen that yet from an all, an all camouflage face paint or anything from either. Really, I guess. I mean, we get some, but nothing too crazy and classified. Gilly suit. It's all right. Nothing to. Uh, go crazy about um i'll do a, a comparison video with uh the gridiron one which i had a video for but that's a whole nother story for another time which i'll talk about in that video but uh camouflage blowback blowback awesome ghillie suit okay this dollar store junk weapons and weapons case not it certainly not it um super disappointing uh, both this giant weapons case, again, no reason we didn't get this little bag from the guy who allegedly designed this. So, how, how do you brag about designing that? And this won't stay shut now. How do you brag about designing that Pursuit of Cobra low light weapons bag? And then you come out with a dollar store weapons case. No idea, but camouflage blowback. Do you guys get them? Skip out on them? Pick up more than one for a sniper spotter team. Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, load up, grab your kits. See you on the battlegrounds.